so really, the uh, the uh, multi import selective import thing is uh, functionally done, I think, barring any bugs, which there probably will be. But I just have to test it, and testing is a pain in the ass. So I'm dragging my feet like an asshole. Anyways, oh, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Um, do I have like any more equipment that might? make me, like, more inclined to kill this dude. Three? Do I really want to do that, though? Three. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I don't think there's any more undead that are really of any note in here, but if I'm going to take this guy out, I should probably do that thing I learned you can do relatively recently. You know how you can take out zombies with fire arrows, but sometimes it seems to take one hit and sometimes multiple, even even regardless of alert state? Well, I learned that actually what it is, is it's position dependence, which I didn't know was a thing. But if you can hit it right in their midsection, they always blow up. So, uh, that's that. So, yes. Um... <laughs> If you don't mind, may I just enumerate these once more so I can kind of remember. So this one, planty plant. This one is fire. This one is death. This one, it's by the door. So is it like wood? Because this is a board. I'm not sure about that one. And I don't have to solve it this way, like I said. I mean, unless maybe it's something out there. I don't know. Yeah, I, maybe it's wood. I don't know. This one is rock. This one's water. No, this one's darkness because it's not fire. This one's water. Okay, so let's have a look at our... Uh, which one is it? Tome. So this might look like a bunch of scribbles. This is a thing, and this is a thing at least. I guess these... I don't know if they're... But, so this is the circle. So, there's your north. So, if we look north, that's the statue there. So, um, here are the numbers. So one is there, two, three, and four. And then uh, this one, it doesn't tell you where to start. So you have to figure that out yourself. But, uh, so that's yet another way, and I could really just do that. But again, like I'm saying, I kind of want to exhaust all possibilities and grab everything I might need to, uh, get in that room, etc. So, so yeah. This though, is this like... I thought I remembered something about that. Whatever, maybe not. I guess it's just conspicuous. Is there like a ring? Whatever. Okay, so if I'm not going here, then that means I guess that I want to go to the hammerite place, which is... Come on. Come on. This video is going to be me just saying ham on over and over again. So, uh, look forward to that. So, okay, the hammerite place is over there. Fishmonger's up there, but I don't need to go there yet. In fact, I shouldn't, I suppose. So that's the fountain. There's a place over there? That's odd. Huh, well... Uh, anyways, I don't know. So, I guess I'll head generally over to the Hammerite place, but first... Wait, where's the gate? Oh, it's over there. Uh, but maybe on the way I'll take a few detours to go and, you know, see some stuff. I just realized that having agreed to play Riven, like, right frickin' now, that now I have two video series is going on, so actually that's not a good thing. I <laughs> Maybe I'll just have to make them shorter so it can be this taking the same amount of time or something. So, I guess I did come along this street here, just checking, you know. And if that's the case, I should be able to get straight up to below the Dirupo Manor. Yeah, there's the tower. And there's that power thing. I like that these stock things that are normally on the ground are, like, put up here and they look like tanks. I don't know, they look different because they're switched around orientation-y. So, yes, oh, I see. The fountain is not this. This is not the fountain, guys. This is the hanging place. The hanging place. The little-known chapter from Oh, the Places. 
you'll go. Which I read as a kid because I didn't realize Dr. Seuss wrote some things that weren't for kids. Not very many, I think maybe only two. <laughs> but still, you guys be careful what you give your kids to read. They might, like, be traumatized or in actual fact they won't because they won't understand anything and they'll go around blabbing off horrible sounding inappropriate words that they don't know what they mean. At least that's what I did. Uh, you know, because in one video I was just like, oh, Batman Forever, I sure did quote this one line that I'm not going to tell you. I kind of want to tell you, but it's just like really awkward. So I'm not sure if it would actually be funny. Like, I don't mind saying it, but yeah, you just go through that movie and like, Watch the movie and just every time you hear a line, just think, would this line be horrendously awkward for a kid to say when he didn't actually know the meaning of it? And just, you'll probably find the one. Okay, so, so hammer time. Ha hammer time. Unless, of course, there's, no, this is just going up. I'm going to assume that anyway. And there was also some alley around here, which I kind of want to just have a second look at. Oh, wait, no, I'm just looping back now. <sighs> but at least the opposition is out of the place. No, wait. I do want to go here, but, okay, been in there, guy looks like he's got something, a key, nope, a healing potion, unfortunate, Ooh. someone there, well, you know, you get concussions, I guess a healing potion would be a good idea, by fire, Boston, the mighty mighty Bostons, That's all I can think of to say. Oh, man. Well, dark that isn't dark is bad, but at least this is like... What I'm trying to say is a lack of darkness is annoying, but at least it isn't dark that isn't dark. Yeah, okay, good, yeah. I just said a word and... A, oh, uh-oh. I surrender. I see it. I'm playing the game good. Oh, I'm just going to leave her there. So I just wanted, like I say, take a quick look in that alley, wherever the hell it is. I hope it's not too far... Because if it is, then I would be going way out of the way, and that would be me just wasting time. Oh, oh, oh. What? Where the hell am I now? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I can't find that alley on the map. The w oh, this is the hammer play. Okay. An alley where there's a window. Snow. It must be there. Well, in that case fine enough. I mean, I just, I just want, okay. If the alley is there, then maybe I can look anywhere around the alley to see if there's maybe another way to get up. It's just what I'm trying to do. Before I just stampede into the clitter eye of the hammer area there, I just want to make sure, oh, hey, it's got that thing where they're both walking so that they can protect each other from their screams or whatever, you know. I just want to go other places. Just really, really tediously. Oh, yeah. No. Hey, where'd that other dude go? Okay, they're no longer protecting each other from screams. So they can watch the entire series of movies called Scream. Yeah. Oh, that's right! That guy. That guy. Ooh, boy, am I ever telling y'all. Good, so, I guess this guy does turn around. There's that answered, 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 answered. Thought I saw something. So, yeah, waiting is the panacea. Waiting is the panacea. God damn. I don't think I'll call the video that, though. It's not quite exciting enough. I'm going to call it uh, the truth about people who play thief. And then I'm just going to say, hey, guys, name's Fen. I'm a liar and get like five pennies more and lose all my integrity but it's okay because I got five pennies more and who cares about how you feel because any video with the word truth in the title literally <laughs> anytime you see the word truth in a video title forget it it's not true it's opinion at best or blatant defiance of known facts at worst just you see that word just click away you'll be good Someone. <laughs> And probably some other clickbaity words too. I mean, why do people even do? Like, why does anyone click on clickbait? I don't. I don't click clickbait. Seriously, I just don't. It's so easy not to. It's so obvious that it's clickbait and it's not useful. I never click it. Why does it still work? I guess the same reason why I never click obvious scam and phishing emails either. 
And those still apparently work or else they wouldn't exist. And people keep getting viruses. Like, I, I scan for malware and I've literally never got malware ever since I was like, okay, the, the last time any malware has been on my computer has been when I was like 13 or some shit and I let my friend be on my computer on MSN Messenger, remember MSN? And he clicked a link in MSN and it downloaded some VB script thing that replaced a bunch of pictures with it, copies of itself. It was crap, but yeah. And that was me letting someone else on my computer. So the last time I got any was never. Because it's so obvious not to. I remember I built a computer for someone, she's like, I got this virus and it screwed up the whole OS, so I... No, I didn't build it, I reinstalled the OS. And then she immediately just got the exact same virus again. I'm like, dude, lady, how did you do that? How... How do you have to be, like, surfing the net, like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I don't even know how you would get a virus or a malware, whenever. I literally don't even know how you would do it. I don't even see any links or sites that give malware, like... You'd have to be purposely searching out, like... So freaking hard to find any, like, I don't know, people, whatever, hey, is this a light switch or... Why would I want that? <sighs> whatever. So... So, yeah, but maybe... Maybe it's because I just surf with certain protections, but I mean, it's just obvious stuff. It's not like, oh my god, gotta use all these protections, it's like so complicated. No, no man, you just like, use the obvious shit that just, you know, whatever. But... But like I say, those protections don't even really do anything because I don't get anything in the first freaking place. Like, scans don't ever find nothing, so whatever, but hey. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just know computers and... Maybe it's not common sense to your average Joe, I don't know. More pork. Ankh more pork. I probably should cut that out though because now some asshole is gonna like try to give me something. Hey, Fen! <laughs> Whatever. But... I guess if I get famous, I should protect myself even more or something. <sighs> but it's like I blew my privacy a long time ago, back in the days when nobody cared about that shit, and we all just said whatever on YouTube. I mean... The internet doesn't know, like, my physical address or nothing, but... Yeah, they know my first name anyway. Because, yeah, there's no point in me trying to protect that. It's it's there, and can't scrub it no more. So, whatever. That's why I don't care, see? It's not because I don't understand the implications. It's because it's like, welp. Oh, is there anything here? Nope. I didn't think so, but, you know, boxes. But it, this is not even the place I want to be. So the fishmonger's up there somewheres. This is not even where I'm going. I want to go back south and... Yeah, you thought I was going to go straight to the Hammerites. But no. So I think it's around and then around this way a bit. So, okay, so... Coming up to the area... So if that is the alley... Then, like I said, I want to look all around here. Now... Going in that... Hey, now, going in that window, maybe... Is that it? Can I even get through that window? It looked like it was wide enough. Okay, there's ropes up there, but I don't think I could get high enough to jump. So I'm going to want to go all the way up there and come back down again or something. How did I get up there anyway? Oh, is it these stairs here? Okay, well, there's that window, but you can't jump from these roofs, and I'm not sure. It doesn't look like you could get through it. Man, I, I want to find this out once and for all. Seriously, because I don't think I ever managed to get up there. There, you know where there is. You totally know where there is, right? Did I go through a vent up there or something? I don't know. Wait, there's a ladder up here. Like, in this place where there was those two conversers. Could this be the key to heaven? I'm sure it's that easy. Or could it just be literally nothing at all and it's just a way over there? Oh, 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 oh! Eh? I mean, that's cool and all. <laughs> okay, well... Fine, I mean, that's something. Certainly. 
But do I want to go down? Uh, what the hell? Where is this even? This is... Oh. Meh. Yeah, this is... Hey, this is what you're getting today, okay? Appreciate it! Me wondering how you get sick and then... <laughs> get sick, no, how your computer gets sick. I don't know. I myself have been fortunate enough never to have gotten anything worse than a cold and maybe a flu once or twice in my life, but I got over all of them, so I don't know. But I'll tell you about the story sometime about how that never happened. Yeah, so there's, I mean, there's crates, so I guess I could stack crates. There's like four over there, but is it, do you really want me to stack crates? Is that really... Is that really what you want from me here? Because, okay. If I find a crate, I could walk all the way back here. Certainly. That's a combination of sure and certainly. And if only I could get back the other side of that place. Whatever. I'll, uh, I'll bring the crates off camera. How's that sound? Okay, so there's two more here. Just so you know, I'm pulling them from... Here. Holy smokes, this is ultra tedious. Well, let me just show you how far I gotta go. Okay, I, I start here. I go all the way. Unless there's some over there closer or something. But yeah, I have to go all the way up here. Oh, there are. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, um, this might not even be enough though. No, this probably will. Still, this seems weird. There better be something crazy good up in here. Because this might not even be enough. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna run back for one or two more. So yes, you go all the way from here. And I'm just gonna encounter a bunch more in the way that I didn't realize. Just so I look like a fool, probably. But no, you got to go all the way. Maybe there's some in that building. Oh, but no. All the way down here. All the way up here. And there's one, but then if you want the ones up here, you got to get the ones up here. So like, wherever the hell they are. Way up here. And there, so uh... <laughs> yep! And there's some, oh whatever. And then the best part is you then have to forget where you're going by constantly running back and forth here, like, constantly all the time. About ten different times before you realize you gotta go this other weird direction. Vis-a-vis -vis here. A direction which I don't ever realize exists for some reason. And, you know... There you go. But by God, if a ghoster can sit there for ten hours doing similar stuff, then... <laughs> so can I. Let's, let's give it a try. Boy, I haven't done this in a long time. It's kind of tricky, because you got to put them, like, horizontally without dropping them down and without picking another up, and... Yeah. But I think you could just climb... You used to not be able to mantle on objects like that in Old Dark, I'm pretty sure. Oh! And I didn't even need all of them. So awesome. I, I'm harmless. Leave me alone. What? Wait, what? He just fell by- wait, did he just fall by himself? Or did I just- What's that in the shadow there? Help! Help! What, he has a heart attack or something? Are you serious, bro? No quote scroll or nothing? Just a weird heart attack have her? And I stacked crates for it? Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Really? So, okay. Is there a secret whereby you, like, turn off the lights and then he doesn't see you and that's the Easter egg or something? What's that in the shadow there? 
Sorry well, I made a fuss. I mean, doesn't look like anything special is happening. But like, who are you? Is your name an Easter egg? Is this just a troll room? Sven. Sven. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fine. Maybe there's some other secret switch here. I, I don't know. I'm not going to spend all day on this, though. The crates are stacked here if I want to get back up. So, wow, that's... That was the most disappointing thing in of my life. As long as I don't keep doing that too often, that is. But, hey. Lots of spares. Let's go to the hammer place. Oh, yeah. I got up into that guy's room and onto the roof through there. And, and, and that tower. I'm pretty sure that window looks like something I can't squeeze through. Where's that guy? I guess he's not here anymore. So, I guess this is like another way into the hammer place? Yeah, sure, okay. Why not? And I'm getting this vision of sheepskin. So I think there was some other hammer place in the Dark Maw mission where I made some sheep joke, or at least the title implies I made a sheep joke. I'm not sure if I really made one worth of anything though, but hey, how's it going? Not Sven. Anyone, any guard, I'm just gonna call not Sven now. Ballsy. It's pretty ballsy to call yourself something other than Sven. That's going to cause a bit of confusion. She's a good Sheila Brace and not at all stack up. See, if I use a really bad Australian accent, I can just claim that I'm doing a really good imitation of Monty Python's really bad imitation of an Australian accent. On the other hand, if it's a good imitation, shockingly, I don't think that's the case, then I can just say, hey man. Practiced a lot. Oh. What is what is all this? Like Okay, I've gotta see the other side. See what the heck I'm messing up when I do this here. <laughs> yeah, you don't often hear that outside. Chanting. It's a, it's a good sound. Cathedrals are beautiful. The uh The sun is blue. One of these statements is a, an absurdity. Can you guess which one? That's right. It's the one where I said, paws have rabbits. Well, I'm, after kind of walking back and forth a lot, I'm kind of drained from talkitude, which some people might consider a good thing. But, oh, yeah, 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 it's all coming back, and I... Th I'm th thinking there's... Something to do with the surrounding roof. Maybe I'm wrong. But there seems to be something to do with the power machine, or some sort of machine that goes bzzzt. It can't go ping, you know. They haven't advanced the technology yet enough for it to go ping. It has to go... Bzzzt. So, uh... Bring your Bramst and your Revoltech fans. Oh, got it after only a couple seconds. Brother Clarence. And Clarence lives at home with both parents. And Clarence's parents have a real good marriage, which is rare, so we should praise him for being born into a good marriage, because that's totally a decision. Anyways. I thought these gates may be opened. No, they don't. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember and, and sort my missions out because uh, bits of Godbreaker are flooding in here and polluting things with the with that hammer place there where you, there's also a wall. So I'm trying to sort out which is which, but I'm pretty sure you can get up there and get over the gate. That's what I remember. Let, we can see if it's possible if if we have enough time. Stab forth. Well, I didn't stab forth. I conked you on the head forth, but... Fersengeld. Uh... Fourth, I think is some sort of programming language. Fortran is, at any rate. <laughs> Glory to the Builder, St. Terence, Slayer of the Trickster's Prophet, here was beset and martyred by pagans of the town. Or, you know, Lord Buckethead. <laughs> Such what to do to pompous monuments that are overly serious, you be irreverent towards them. Yeah, putting a bucket on your head, the classic... Way to take a stock resource and just make it now into a joke. Now to find the annex, whatever that is. Well, it's okay. I'm sure. I'm sure it's something reasonable and believable. Oh, was I just hitting a regular ass light switch thing? 
Okay, so I want to get up one of the walls though. Do you have to do it in a weird way is the thing. I'm pretty sure I didn't have to stack race. I'm thinking you could jump on there and stack race, but I, I'm pretty sure... Wait. I think it's coming back to me the long and winding path through which you would get there. So, yeah. If I'm right, I don't have to sweat it now, so I'll just do that later. Who is that there? Cool. Reload me? Instead of face the consequences, I hate facing consequences. I'd rather butt the consequences out of my sphere of butt. <laughs> I, I'm rather regressing in age behavior here. If this keeps up, my LPs will just be me kind of crying and making cute sounds. I mean, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm not sure if I should say this because it would make more sense in a different context, but it's not like I'll ever get to be, well, yeah. I'll never get to go back in time and be a rather Ferris inventor of the chainsaw, obviously, as we all know. So this is not going to be funny because it's super awkward and specific, but there was some commentary once that I was watching on one of them uh, Link to the Past speedruns, and Sakura was like, uh, Oh, I like the uh, the cane of Burna. It's cute. And I'm, I was thinking if it was Miko commentating, I'd be like, yeah, it goes like, whip, 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 whip. That's super cute. Like, imagine if babies, instead of crying, they just went, open their mouths and went, whip, 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 whip. Like, not actually using their mouths to say that, but just that sound effect came out of it. And then there was these sparkles that swirled around them. And it'd be so cute that everyone would forget to feed them, and so that wouldn't actually be good. So I should, I should, it's a good thing I'm not a commentator of any kind whatsoever, right? Okay, so. The builder's blessing, brother. How and I watch the gate? Quiet enough. Most carters pay the toll without argument now. The skirmish this morn hath taught that riffraff their lesson then. But I fear their debris still defaces the builder's image. Regrettably, I shall ask Brother Lionel for assistance. Be assured it shall be removed by morning. <clears throat> so. Funny thing about that room, on my off-camera playthrough, I, uh, I was trying to hear that conversation without getting busted, and I eventually managed it, and then it, it, there was like a whole orgy of maybe reloading and maybe not, and I lost track of what I did, and I thought that I didn't hear that conversation in that particular save, and I kept looking for the room so I could hear it, but I, like, I guess I did save after hearing it after all, and I looked and looked and looked and circled around there for like 10 million hours, and I couldn't find the room with two hammers standing in it, because it turned out they'd already left. So, yeah, it was great. It was terrific. Ugh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, name's Finn. I am a god of physics. They do my bidding, or more like I do their bidding. <laughs> so, now, wasn't it worth watching me do that silly crate thing for that? Of course it was. The lesson of oh good more scripture that probably teaches a funny and or interesting lesson awesome the lesson of saint callum and the pagan saint callum as saint callum traveled on his pilgrimage to the harrimont shrine he did chance to meet a pagan who cameth in the other direction the man was filthy and in rags for such is the pagan attire and was also saint callum filthy and in rags for indeed he had sworn a vow of poverty and to not bathe until he should come unto the shrine and be washed and clad anew to glorify the builder then the pagan, seeing him attired even as he was, did greet St. Calum as twere a brother pagan. Then St. Calum answereth not, but was troubled, for he had laid his hammer aside at the outset of his journey, that he might have no worldly possessions to turn his mind from prayer as he walked, and so could not deal with the pagan as he deserveth. And so St. Calum sought about the road for stones, hefting this one and that one. And the pagan, thinking to help his fellow, didst find a large stone, and took it into his hands, and offered it unto the saint. Then St. Calum laid his hands upon the stone, and raising it high, he brought it down upon the pagan's head, and crushed him unto death. Then St. Calum thanked the builder. 
From this lesson we doth learn that when we're dressed in rags, we're a man of the builder, but when someone else is, he's a pagan and you're, yeah. From this lesson we doth learn that by his power even the builder's enemies shall be the tools of their own destruction, when lacketh we the proper tools ourselves. But the lesson also teaches us thus, maybe he was another hammer like you. Anyways, the, <laughs> or maybe, but maybe St. Callum listened to his speaksy voice and determined it thus, yeah. Take care not to set aside thine hammer unduly, lest thou be less fortunate in the finding of stones than St. Calum, so it's contradictory. I don't know. Hey, that's a theological paradox. Let us discuss it cross-mission with that one dude. Brother, what's his face? Brother, really interesting, rarely done with Hammerite story where he goes to a pagan place and preaches and doesn't even bash heads in, so he's merely sort of slightly irritating, but not... Also, it's proselytizing. That's so dumb. Proselytizing. It's proletizing. It's proletizing. Come on. Come on. On is a place you should arrive at. Yeah, that's right. I didn't make a coming joke this time. It's great. Uh, oh. Maybe I could get up here. Mm, I'm not sure. No, not quite. Oh, guess what? <gasps> oh, yeah. But maybe I could fall in the well instead. Seems like a just dessert for a thief like me. I don't know. Dessert. Fah. Last time I ate dessert, my mood went all out of whack. Like, sugar just hasn't been agreeing with me in a recent couple of years. Like, I've eaten it and my mood has just gotten so swingy. It's not even just like, oh, sugar's bad for me, I'm going to be pious or not. No, it's just like it's... I have not had a very good reaction. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't eat dessert anymore. I eat veggies and more veggies, and I just went to the grocery store, and the cashier was like, whoa, oh, oh, what do you eat besides vegetables? I'm like, hey, mate, I used to come in here all the time and buy $50 bags of junk food. You didn't say nothing, and now I'm buying veggies to stock up, and now you're making fun of me. But I didn't even mind, because, you know, I feel better. And yeah. Oh, that's not a ladder, but wait. No. If it could be climbed, then I could get where I'm wanting to be, but unfortunately... Oh... What is that? Oh, wait. It's a ladder. It's wood. And there's a hammer. But I'm not going to smite a pagan, because I'm a good citizen. No. Heaven smile. Killer7 is... Stylish... Dark... And violent. Buy thee out! Let's have a competition. Drop thy weapon! Do not move. Hey, say some. Meant thou that to pain me? Meant thou that to pain me? No, for the builder's grace doth armor me! No, for the builder's grace doth armor me! Anyways, I'm done with that. Oh, 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 what? Where was I? Where was... Oh, what? Really? Eh, well, it looks like this video is going to take up all the time now. So that's pretty cool. Now is pretty cool. She's the drummer and singer for Maximum. <laughs> oh, I can only ever think and talk about one thing at once. I can't have two obsessions. Or the color bleeds out of my eyes. Oh, hey. <laughs> VCRs, capacitors. I'm not going to fix this bike for you if you don't shut up. Ah. Priest Frederick, and he's got the warden's quarters. What are you doing with the key to someone who isn't you to you to you the key to... Uh. Anyways. As I was saying, well, what is this, etc., etc. There's a hammer, etc. Water arrows are always a priest, etc. It's one of my favorite words. Oh, it's one of the great words, etc. Not as good as proprioception, but not too terrible either. Oh. Nothing, to see now. Nothing to see now. Yeah, I'm not exact, but hey, whatever. As long as you get the spirit, it's Who okay with me. Who passes there? Who is there? Is someone there? Brother Diesel. So some of these sound like jokes, like more pork. Others are just like, no, it's a real thing, mate. Oh. These are not the warden's quarters, then. They're the warden's dollars. 
Oh, ha, oh, ha, 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 oh, ha, oh, using a joke I heard in some McDonald's radio play when I was eight. Yeah, there you go. Darius. Brothers, Warden Darius hath taken the room neath the bell tower whilst our guest stayeth. Attend him there with any administrative concerns thou hast. As per usual, none of the brethren are permitted to interrupt my solitary meditations each eve, except if our guest hath need of me. In such case, thou mayest direct him to join me in the gardens. Please, Fred, it's rare. I, I waver too much. I my portrayal, I know. But you know what? Before I go in there, I'm going to do that thing I was mentioning. By getting onto the roof here and just putting these pieces of paper together, you can go all the way over here. Notice this fire. It's got a pickable arrow. You know what that means. Yeah, that's right. It means fire is water. And ice is ahead. God damn it, that wasn't funny. I could have said something funny after that sentence, but I blew my chance and I never can again. I filleted my chance and never can again. Oh yeah, see, this looks like a place you're not supposed to get because of that black, evil blackness there. It seeped right out of that manor and straight on into the regular world, but only out of bounds so far. But if we're not careful, it might come back into bounds. If we're not careful, this two-year-old might grow to be 160 feet by the time he reaches age 15. We must do something. So, yes, this is this. And the way you get up is through these stairs. And I really think that I should probably just leave it here. Being king of the world and all. In a very vulnerable to be seen spot. So, um, see you guys next time. I shouldn't make fun of meditating. It's a useful thing. But I'm sure there's no other useful things in the spiritual traditions. Let's just keep snarking at them until we eventually discover that there's lots of useful things and then act like we weren't premature. Bye!